everyone, this is Jay Cruz from Team Shockwave. I know it's been a while, but you know how life is. You work, you sleep, you play Pokemon. I've been distracted with it. I'm sorry I haven't been around. But as you guys can see, I just came off work. I'm here to talk to you guys about a few of the cards that I find interesting that came out in Shadow Spectres. We will be having other videos coming out that will explain ghost tricks and deck profiles. But for now, let's talk about some of the cards that I found really interesting in this new set. Alright, as you guys can see, we have a lot of the dragons from this set. Um, you know how I am, I have my dragon fetish, I do love dragons. But I find these guys really interesting, especially, let's start off with these two. So, as you guys know, this is the light and dark version of each other pretty much. So the reason I find these interesting, you have this one that's 18, 17 attack points. They're both each other's opposite stats. Um, what's really cool is they're pretty much like Tangus. Um, this is really great in Chaos. I believe we're going to see more of Chaos builds coming out shortly. Um, main reason I say this is because each of these can be special summoned to the field by removing one light or one dark. This one dark, this one light, just in case you guys get a little confused. But the thing that really makes them interesting is when they're on the field and they leave the field, once per turn, their effects activate. So let's say I have both of them on the field, my opponent dark holes, whoop, they're gone. Um, their effects go off and I'm able to go in my deck and go search for another one. So it's a great way to mill out the deck, especially in a format that, you know, you want a special summon, you want to mill out the deck so qu quickly that... You can keep up with things like E-Dragons, Spellbooks, um, Fire Fist that have this great search ability. And I just find these guys great. Like, you can use them to exceed uh, Synchro Summon if you're playing some form of Synchro deck. Um, but I am definitely, definitely want to see more play with these guys. Um, I'm really hoping to see a lot of it. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to multitask right now. I'm thinking um, everything I should say to you guys because there's so much to really talk about them. But if you're building a deck pure of light and you want to play a few of these, like let's say two or three, you can pretty much combine these with lights, uh, some form of light swarm chaos. Uh, you also got chaos dragons that I mentioned a few minutes ago. Um, I do think certain players would try to mix this with Dark Arm Dragon, especially how this helps you control the graveyard to have that right amount to special summon Dark Arm, especially with the new Monarch card that came out, um, Return of the Monarch. Even though a lot of people aren't tributing this, you know, this format or for a while, this card is really interesting because it lets you look out, it's pretty much, it lets you look out either search for a monarch or a dark arm dragon. I just find it really interesting. Um, I definitely want to hear you guys' opinions on any of the cards that I'm talking about. But let's move off this. There's other stuff to be talked about. I don't got all day for this. And you guys are probably sick of hearing about me. So, a lot of you guys think this is already bad. <laughs> Alright, first things first, we have a normal type dragon here. Zero stats, 24 defense. It's a normal monster, nobody likes normal types because they don't do anything except blue eyes. But that's because of all the su support. But, if you guys realize, for those who aren't aware, this is a level 6 tuner. This is actually quite amazing. For the simple fact that you could play this little guy that came out last set that says when he's flipped, special summon one level 5 or higher tuner monster from your deck. So you guys can set this, gets flipped over, dies, summon this guy in defense mode, protect yourself, especially like it's 24, summon some, some random number and go into like Star Eater or Stardust if you have a level 2 monster. Honest truth, you're probably going to be seeing this and this inside a, a Heretic deck, especially with this guy that I find really amazing. Uh, this was actually supposed to come out to us as a show and jump promo, but they changed it to the American, when they came over to American release, they switched it into a super. Um, for those who don't know what this does, 
pretty much when you normal summon into the field, you get to select one monster with 1,000 or less attack points from your graveyard and summon it to the field. So it kind of has a debris dragon effect, but its second effect is also really good for the simple fact that it lets you stack a monster. It lets you trivial a monster to select another monster on the field and increase its level um, so you can make it an 8 star. The reason I say this is good, if you're playing some form of heretics, you can stack a heretic monster um, to level up maybe itself or another monster and you get two level 8s on the field and then you just have him, you have this guy there, um, you'll get whatever heretic monster you stack so you could either um, go into Star Eater, go into Tyrant just by syncing these two together. Um, the combos, just the combos. I will try to do a deck profile with um, using these guys to show you a good, the, just the combos that these go into. Um, but let's move on. I do just, I just want to mention a few of the stuff and a few of the things we're going to talk about shortly in the videos. But um, like I was talking about early on, going to level eight, you guys can go into the new exceeds number forty six, and I can't really read his name; it's upside down. But it's whatever. Uh, simple fact: if you guys go into this, if he's the only dragon on the field, you can special summon a dragon from the field from your hand. You can summon it from your grave, or yeah, from your grave. Or you could take control of one of your opponent's dragons. So with E dragons out there, you know, it'd be like give me your stuff. So I just find it really good. It's three thousand attack, three thousand defense. So even if they book it, they still gotta deal with a three thousand defense defense monster. And then you got this one that's I find really fascinating. Um, especially like I told you guys, you know, you got combos with him and heretics. You could go into level 8 a little bit easier, um, especially if you're playing some form of blue eye support with the Chaos build. Um, not Chaos build, but the build with Heretics. You can go into this guy, and what this guy does is pretty much during either player's turn, um, you can attach a material to negate a monster's effect, but it's unaffected by any spells or traps for the remainder of that turn. And that's kind of fine, especially if your opponent goes into a Draco sack or a big eye, you just negate it and laugh in their face and then just run it over because it's a 28 beater um let's see what else we got to talk about so i also want to talk about these guys i'm really hoping this, i know they're commons but i really do want to see more play with these guys not just because they're water and earth but you could probably use them with redox or um tidal Pretty much what these guys do, if you have once you know if you have this on the field, once per turn you get special summon a water dragon from your from your hand to the field. And this one, if you have it on the field, you can select another monster, make it an eight. So you, you can just these two just make level eights like there's no tomorrow. So it's really great, especially if you guys are trying to do these two or you want to run some interest and build with them. Especially like they are searchable with Redox and Tidal, so if you already have this in your hand, get Tidal, ditch two waters, get this, or two Redoxes. That's my opinion, guys. But also, I want to talk about this one. Yeah. Simple fact, one of my friends brought it up to me. Um, first of all, it's adorable. It's pink. Um, and it looks like Charmander. I don't know. I would like to hear your opinion if you think it's Charmander, but it looks adorable. So... They added more text to him, but his original effect was when he's discarded, when he's sent to the grave, summon a dragon from your hand. He still does the same thing whenever he's discarded, he gets a dragon. He gets a special summon a dragon from your hand to the field, except the turn that you activate his effect, you cannot uh, special summon anything but dragons, and you cannot enter your battle phase. So it's a little drawback, but for such a small card that's so powerful, I find it to be one of the greatest cards out there, um, especially if you're trying to be a pure dragon player like I like to be. Um, there are a few people that feel like this will be really good in E-Dragons. Um, I'm a little spectacle on it, simple fact that the turn that you activate his effect, you can only summon dragons. And let's be honest guys, most E players combos goes right into Big Eye or Draco Sack, so I feel like this will really hurt them at the end. Um, especially when the dragons will go back to their hands but that's 
pretty much all I really got to talk to you guys about now. Um, please hit on the like button below to, for us to know how you guys think we're doing. Uh, leave some comments. I would definitely like to hear your feedback. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible with more tips and tricks and more info on Team Shockwave here. Jay Cruz signing out.